And now for our dinosaur of the day, Mapusaurus. And Mapusaurus was requested by Cole via Patreon, so thanks, Cole. Mapusaurus' name means earth lizard, and the type species is Mapusaurus rose, named after the rose-colored rocks where Mapusaurus was found, and for Rose Letwin, who sponsored the fossil excavation. Two in one. Yeah. Mapusaurus lived in the Cretaceous in what is now Argentina, and it was first discovered in 1995. It was excavated between 1997 to 2001 as part of the Argentinian Canadian Dinosaur Project. Phil Curry and Rodolfo Coria described Mapusaurus in 2006. It was found in the Huincul Formation, which was an arid environment. The bone bed with Mapusaurus had at least seven individuals, all different ages, and this may be because it was a predator trap or because they lived together. The bone bed may have also been a result of the bones being carried downstream in a flood. No other dinosaurs were found in this bone bed, so who knows? Maybe Mapusaurus hunted in packs, but it's kind of unclear. Uh, other sites have been found with many carnivorous dinosaurs in Alberta and Mongolia and the U.S., which suggests in the Cretaceous maybe there was pack behavior. The smallest Mapusaurus individual found in the bone bed was 18 feet or 5.5 meters long. There were some as large as 33 feet or 10.2 meters long and weighing 3 tons. At some sources it said even up to 8 tons. It was similar in size to Gigantosaurus, which is a close relative. Corey and Curry in 2006 said that they found larger femur bones similar in size to a Gigantosaurus that was 40 feet, 12.2 meters long. And in 2011, Drew, Eddie, and Julia Clark found a pubic shaft that was even larger than the Gigantosaurus. So they said Mapusaurus may have been as long as 41 feet, 12.6 meters, or even larger. So Mapusaurus may be the biggest carnivorous dinosaur found so far. Yeah, it's big. It is big. Its skull was 6 feet, or 1.84 meters long. Again, it's similar to Gigantosaurus, but the skull was a little bit different. It was thicker, wider, flatter. Also lower and lighter than Gigantosaurus. Mapusaurus lived alongside Argentinosaurus and Cathartosaurus, as well as some Abliosauroids. It's unclear what Mapusaurus would have hunted if it hunted, instead of scavenge. An adult Argentinosaurus could weigh up to 100 tons and was 125 feet or 40 meters long, which would have been too large for Mapusaurus to hunt alone. We have said, though, that estimate might be a little bit big, just as a caveat. Yeah, could be. But still, it was large. So maybe Mapusaurus went after juvenile Argentinosaurus. Maybe they worked in groups to go after juveniles. Mapusaurus' teeth are similar to Gigantosaurus. They had flat, curved teeth with the serrated edge, which was good for slicing, compared to T-Rex, which, as Garrett said, was good for crunching bones because they were more conical. Mapusaurus may not have been able to bite through Argentinosaurus' bone, but as a pack, maybe they did multiple bites to Argentinosaurus so it would lose blood or get infected, and then they could go eat Argentinosaurus when it was weaker, couldn't defend itself as well. In 2013... PLOS One published a study called Paleopathological Survey of a Population of Mapusaurus, Theropoda carcarodontosauridae, from the late Cretaceous Huinco Formation, Argentina. And in this paper, scientists studied all the Mapusaurus bones found in the bone bed and looked for diseases and trauma, known as paleoepidemiology. They found two broken and rehealed ribs, which shows that Mapusaurus led an active lifestyle but had no real skeletal abnormalities so far. Studies of theropods show low numbers of abnormalities in general. Well, that's good, maybe. Yeah, but I don't know how many we found in comparison to the population as a whole. That's true. And we talked about how a lot of times the first ones that are found, they don't even really look for abnormalities. So. Yep. Mapusaurus is a carcarodontosaurid, and carcarodontosaurid's name means shark tooth lizards, and they were carnivorous theropods. Ernst Stromer named the family in 1931, and the family includes Gigantosaurus, Mapusaurus, Carcharodontosaurus, and Tyrannotitan, and they're all about the same size or larger than T-Rex. Carcharodontosaurids and Spinosaurids were the largest predators in Gondwana in the early and middle Cretaceous, and Mapusaurus is also part of the subfamily Gigantosaurine, which includes Carcharodontosaurids more closely related to Gigantosaurus and Mapusaurus than Carcharodontosaurus. Yeah, and a lot of people relate them to T-Rex, but they're really a totally different branch of the evolutionary tree. I mean, they're in theropods, but they're not tyrannosauroids, and they weren't as smart. 